Hello everyone and welcome back to Crossroads Let's Plays. Um, today I'm doing Kinsokyo Tower Defense, which is a Toho based game. Um, let's see... 100, 10,000 power... Uh, that works. And then... Yes, the Hakurei Shrine. And my favorite character, Sakuya. Da, da, da. Let's see. So this is a very simple tower defense game. Oops. Wrong button. The shortcut style. So, Sakuya is honestly one of the most broken characters possible for this. Um, in addition to just being my favorite Toho character in general. Because she is very good at kiting. Um, plus she has a time freeze gimmick on most of her stronger towers. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm taking, um, I should probably put these guys down the center. So I'll go over really quickly what her skill set is. Yeah. Crap. Running out of money. <coughs> Bleh. Alright. So, basically, this is a very... Mm. This is a very short range melee style tower. Um, amazing damage crappy range. This will uh, do all sorts of fun stuff, you'll see in a second. This throws, I want to say, two waves of bullets in a circular pattern that kind of hit the wall and bounce back. Uh, and these ones are just long range towers, and then this will freeze an enemy in time when it comes near. So, I'll just show you what this all looks like. Actually. I think I can safely send out a few dozen waves. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it does three at its highest level. Yeah. 
So I'll just go through a little bit of this. valuable time where I'm not sending wave after wave to get some of these towers upgraded because upgrades are not instant. So right now, even with just one wave of enemies, sometimes they're getting a little bit far. more waves. you guys are probably noticing um, these little time stop towers are actually freezing the bullets around the enemies as well. I'm hoping that my time, st time stop towers are gonna end up killing stuff down here, but...
Oh god, all of the damage. Okay. B. <clears throat> How about we just do 10k power up here? If I don't know, flan. Alright. Kagome Kagome I found is really nice for just slamming everything with damage. Um, need to get my QED in there. So I can only have one of this tower, but it is fairly broken by itself anyways. Um, Spam this sucker. I love this tower. Uh, let's just sell one of you and pop the ultimate tower in there. Upgrade that thing. So this tower that I have 50 billion of over in this one corner, um, that's little ability is when one tower has an enemy in range, all of the towers will target it. Causes some pretty good collateral too. Just upgrade that. I'll show you. I can't see anything anymore. Beep, 
Give me a second. Good. I had the most lovely little snot pile waiting for me. Yeah, if anybody couldn't tell, I am still just a tad bit sick. So the big gimmick with Flandre is that all of her towers move their uh, attacks towards the enemy after being set up. Couple more random waves. God, I can't even find my cursor most times. The one thing that I hate about these enemies is that they're capable of nullifying damage equal to their level, rendering a lot of weaker towers fairly useless after a while. <clears throat> Especially when we get later in the game. Just about done, so pop all the rest of those. Just sit here and force myself to go cross-eyed from the amount of glowy rainbows on the screen. And I have won. I will see you guys next time.